गुड इवनिंग हेलो गेरार्डो Nelly, are you there? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Good. And you, I'm, teacher? I'm doing okay. Thank you. How was your day? I'm fine. Everything okay. Good. Good. Nelly. Yesterday. You, uh huh. Yesterday yes. I was. I yesterday I was sick. Really. What was the problem? Uh, how would you say "caer" "caer" in English? The present form is "fall." The fall. past tense is "fail." Fail. Uh, yesterday, uh, I failed the motorcycle. You ride a motorcycle. Yes. Oh. Okay. Was it serious? Um. Everything okay. Uh, the motor cycle cycle is, is damage. Dangerous, damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. But I, but I, I, I good. I am okay. I am okay. Yeah. Material things are secondary. See, only materials. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Last week I had this incident in a motorcycle hey. too. Hey, I fell too. I fell. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but my case was a little bit more serious because it was in Los Chorros. In Los Chorros. Yeah, and I had traffic coming from coming behind me. Uh -huh. The street is dangerous. It's... It is. It is. I don't know. Okay, I'm drinking water right now. <laughs> Coffee and chocolate. Oh, water, water. Water, ah, oh, water. Yeah, cold water. Pamela. Pamela. Hello, Nelly. Hello, how are you today? Good, I'm okay, thanks. How was your day? really relax because eh, it's como se dice está solo it's quiet quiet it's quiet in my work i imagine i was in metro centro today in the morning and it was empty yes no people no and this is only the beginning this is only the beginning. Yeah. In the future, you know, I want to be optimistic, but I think in the future it's going to be a bad situation. Yes. So we just need to be careful and take care. Yes, we have to. Um, tomar medidas. How do you say tomar medidas? Take measures. Take, take measures. measures. Yes, take measures. Yeah, take measures but, and follow instructions. Yeah, and we have to buy some food and because we can go out. Exactly. Maybe by Thursday. Exactly. We need to have the basic things at home. Toilet paper, yes. soap, shampoo, yes. food, water, different things. Yeah. Uh, Pamela, how was your day? Hi, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. How was your day, Pamela? Good, but a little 
scared yeah. about the situation. Exactly, exactly. That's true. All right. And Eric, welcome back, Eric. Hi, teacher. Were you on vacation? Um, no, I am very much uh, work. I have much work. I have, okay. All right, good. Okay, so today is March 17th. It's a Tuesday. And um, here we are. Let's begin. Do you remember the activities we did yesterday? Do you? Anybody can refresh my memory and tell me what we did? Nothing. Right. What activities did we do yesterday? A ver, ¿quiénes estuvieron presentes ayer? Only Pamela and Nelly, I think. Body parts. Nelly, the human parts. Yeah, exactly. Body parts. Yes, the different parts of the body. Internal or external? Both of them. Both. Exactly. Very good. Both. Yes, both of them. Internal and external. Can you mention examples of external parts of your body? Uh, wrist, chin. Okay, breast? No, wrist. Oh, yes, wrist. Wrist? Breast, too. <laughs> what else? Chin. Chin. Neck. Neck. Fingers. Fingers, yes. Hey, Nelly? Toe. What is it? Nelly? Shoulders. Shoulders. The foot and feet. Foot and feet. What's the difference? Foot is singular and feet is plural. Very good. What is the other part of your body that is similar? Teeth and tooth. Yes. Teeth and tooth. Yes, teeth and tooth. That is correct. What's the name of this? Yes, what's the name? Forehead. Forehead, exactly. And this part here? Eyebrows. Yes, exactly. So yesterday we were working, we were reviewing external parts of the human body and also internal. Can you mention examples of internal parts? Brain. The brain. Stomach. Stomach. Yes. Heart. What is it? Heart. Uh, heart. Yes. Heart. Your heart. Yes. Um, liver. What is it? Liver. Oh, liver. 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 Yes. Stomach. Stomach. Mm -hmm. What Heart. else? Heart. 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 Yes. Spleen. Okay. What's, what's the name of the organ that suffers if you don't drink water? Kidneys. Kidneys. Your kidneys suffer if you don't drink water. It's very important that you drink water. Yes. Yes. Any others? Pancreas. You, your pancreas. How do you say intestino grueso in English? Large intestine. Large intestine. Small intestine. Large intestine. Large intestine. And intestino delgado? 
small intestine. Small, very good. So you have small intestine and large intestine. Yes. Anything else? Gallbladder. Yeah, the gallbladder. What color is the gallbladder? Green. 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 That is correct. What is the name of the liquid that goes through your to your veins? Blood. 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 Yes, blood. blood. What color is blood? Red. 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 And what is the name of these green things? What's the name? Do you see this here? What's the name? How do you say venas in English? I don't know. Veins. Veins. If it's singular, you say vein. If it's plural, you say veins. Veins. And you spell? Singular. Yes, sure. It's V E I N. V E I N. Ahí, ahí les va en el chat de la platform. Vein. Vein. If it's plural, you say veins. 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 Any questions about yesterday's vocabulary? No. No? Okay, so no. let me ask you. Why do people visit hospitals? What's the reason they visit hospitals? Because they feel sick. Very good, because they feel sick. Now, after you see the doctor, what does the doctor give you? Medicine. Medicine. After you see the doctor, the doctor gives you medicine. He gives you a paper, Tylenol, Peptovismol, and three vapor up, whatever. What is the name of that paper? Uh -huh. Receipt. Receipt. Okay, so look here. Si es receta de comida, usted dice recipe. recipe. Pero si es comida. Si es medicina, usted dice. Right there. What's the word? Prescription. Prescription. Yes. So food, I mean recipe is for food. Prescription is for medicine. So after you finish speaking with the doctor, what does the doctor give you? A prescription. A prescription. And what information do you have in the prescription? The name of the Medica. medicine. The name of the medicine, that is correct. What else? The Only time the name. you have to, to take. Very good. So they give you the name of the medicine and the time that you have to take the medicine. Now, can you mention examples of medicine? Tylenol. Tylenol, yes. What else? One, one pill. Pills? Each eight hours. <laughs> okay, every eight hours, yes. Okay. All right, so let me show you this. Uh -huh -huh. Have you visited the platform? Okay, do you see the image? Yes. yes. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's, that's another image. Okay. Okay, this is the one. Okay, do you see the image? Yes. 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 Common medication. Yes. Exactly, common medication. How many different types of medication do you see there? 
Actually, two. I see six. Seven. Because uh, these two. Because is the, one is the box. For exactly. Six. One is the box. The other one is the medicine. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, what's the name of the first one? Antacid. Antacid. Aspirin. Okay, but what is the name of the first one? The first one. Antacid. 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 What is the okay? What is the function of the antacid? What's the, the function? The function is is the acidez. No sé. Okay. Okay. Okay, so what organ helps the antacid? Stomach. stomach. Yes, the stomach. The stomach. Yes, stomach. Stomach. La CH suena como una K. Stomach. 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 Yes, stomach. antacid. En el chat del WhatsApp les voy a poner una palabra que es bien importante. I will give you a word that is very important. And the name is heartburn. Do you see it? Yes. Heartburn. 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 Y no tiene Harbor. nada que ver con el corazón, a pesar que ahí está incluida la palabra. Heartburn. Son aquellos gases que le salen después de haber comido, una, por ejemplo, unas pupusas de chicharrón, le cayeron mal y está sacando gases yeah. por la boca. Eructo. Yeah. No, no, no. Um, acidez creo que se le llama. Agruras, me dijeron. Agruras, agruras. Yeah, thank you. That's the name. Agruras, yes. So, antacid. Are we okay with the first one? Yes. Number two, aspirin. 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 What's the function of aspirin? Aspirin. For a different pain. Headache. For headache. 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 Headache, toothache, backache. So aspirin. Aspirin. Ajá. Uh -huh. Aspirin. Ok. Ok, hold on. Ta -da -da. Ok. Um, so you have aspirin. 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 Alleviates pain. <laughs> aspirin heart. alleviates aspirin. pain. Alleviates pain. Alleviate. Pain. Alleviate. Yeah, let, let, let me write it on the chat. Alleviates. Alleviates. Aspirin alleviates pain. Aspirin alleviates pain. Right. ¿Qué hace la aspirina? Alivia el dolor. Alivia el dolor. Exactly. But it's only temporary. Because if the yes, problem, the, if the problem because, is, uh -huh. yes, Maria? Because the aspirin is bad. Exactly. It, for, it's for that, stomach. Exactly. It for has, stomach. exactly. It has secondary effects. Yes. Okay. So that is aspirin. Aspirin. Y es bien común que la gente también le diga, Painkiller, ahí se los acabo de escribir. Painkiller. Gabi. Painkiller. How do you say farmacia in English? Drugstore. Yes. You can say drugstore or you can say pharmacy. Pharmacy. 
the two options are good. So usted puede llegar a una, a una farmacia y decir, do you have any painkiller? Y ya saben que usted le está pidiendo aspirina. Painkiller. Yeah, painkiller. Painkiller. Yes, painkiller. Number pain three is muscle cream. Muscle cream. Muscle cream. Okay, cream. please repeat. Muscle cream. Muscle, muscle cream. cream. Muscle cream. Muscle cream. Muscle cream. Muscle cream, yes. La letra C es muda. Entonces usted para decir músculo, usted dice muscle. Muscle. Yeah. La, la, la C es muda. Entonces usted hace una combinación de S con L y usted dice muscle, muscle cream. Muscle. Muscle cream. Yes. Muscle cream. Can, you, can you mention examples of muscle cream in El Salvador? Ofal. Ofal, very good. What else? Metilo. Metilo, metilo, that is correct. Yes, metilo. Ya tenía tiempo de no oír la palabra, metilo. Yes. Marihuanol. Marihuanol. GMS. <laughs> no, 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 la fumen. Ok, muscle cream. Yes, uh, marihuanol, eh, metilo, cofal, cofalito. Ok. Una vez usted tiene el muscle cream en sus dedos, ¿cómo se lo aplica donde está el dolor? What is the process? As a massage. Message. Yeah, Message. similar, similar. We're similar. Similar. Okay, sí, es, es parecido a un masaje, pero la verdadera palabra es rub. Rub. Ahí está en el chat rub. de WhatsApp, rub. rub. ¿Qué dijimos que significaba rub? Ya lo habíamos visto esa palabra. Mm. Cuando usted va a una farmacia aquí en el país, usted dice. Pharmacy. Usted dice vaporú. Vaporú. Pero eso es aquí en el país. En una farmacia en Estados Unidos, usted nunca va a llegar diciendo vaporú. Muslo cream. Pues, no, usted va a decir vapor rub. Vapor, uh, vapor rub. Vapor rub. La palabra rub significa frotar. Rob. Oh. Rob. Vapor rub. Vapor rub. Vapor rub. Vapor yeah, rub. exactly. Now, number three, I mean, number four, cough drops. Cough drops. Okay, fíjese bien. Cough drops son los dulcitos para la tos. Y este es el jarabe. Pero puede ver, es la misma, um, la misma marca y todo. Yo también pensaba de que era la cajita de esto, pero no. Son diferentes presentaciones. This is, this is the, can, the candy version and this is liquid. Liquid. Ajá. Liquid. What's the meaning of cough? Tos. Acuérdense que las palabras en inglés que van con GH, el sonido es una F, F de Francia. Cough. So you say cough drops. Cough drops. Cough drops. Ajá, cough drops son los dulces para la tos. Cough drops. Cough drops. Cough drops. Y el botecito este es cough syrup. Cough syrup. Cough syrup. Cough syrup. Cough syrup. Syrup significa jarabe. Jarabe. Syrup es jarabe. Drops son los dulcitos. Ok. Ok, so do you see the difference? Yes. Ok. Now, number six. Cold pills. 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 Yes, cold pills. Cold pills. ¿Para qué sirven esas? Cold pills. Cold pills. ¿Para qué? Resfriados. Exactly. Para los resfriados, para la gripe. 
cold pills. Can you mention names of cold pills in El Salvador? Virogrip. Virogrip. Tapsin. Tapsin. Panadol. ¿Cuál era el chinito aquel que salía? Salvador, ¿cómo era que llamaba? Salvador. Venía en un sobre azul. Era un chinito, no me acuerdo. Salvador. Yeah, I think so, Salvador, yes. Salvador. Salvador, ajá, pero, pero cuando usted llegaba a la farmacia tenía que llegar con tono así chino, oriental. Salvador. Ajá. Tiene Salvador. Ok, y el último era eye drops. Eye drops. Eye drops. Eye drops. Eye drops. Eye drops, exactly. Fíjese bien, aquí está la misma palabra drops como estaba acá. Pero en este caso yeah. significan dulces para la tos y aquí yeah. son gotas para los ojos. La misma palabra. Mm, drops. Eye drops. Eye drops. Now, what is the function of eye drops? What's the function? Hydrate the eyes. Clean the eyes. Uh -huh, exactly. To clean Hydrate. your eyes. Or irritation. What happens to your eyes if you have irritation? Arden. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Arden. How do you say arder in English? Burn. No. Exactly, yes. El mismo verbo que significa quemar, que se dice burn, es el mismo que dice arder. Okay. Entonces ahí le voy a poner burn, que significa arder en este caso. Questions there. Preguntas. No. Okay. No question. Okay, how do you pronounce the first one? Antacid. 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 Number two? Aspirin. 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 Number three? Muscle cream. Muscle cream. Muscle cream. Number four? Cough, Cough syrup. syrup. Cough syrup. Cough syrup. Cough syrup. Cough syrup. Okay, very good. Number five? Cough, Cough drop. drops. Cough drops. Number seven? Call fill. And the last one? Eye drops. Eye drops. Eye drops. Eye drops. Exactly. So, mire, ¿cuál es la finalidad de que usted aprende inglés? Que usted pueda desenvolverse en una situación en la vida real. Usted anda en San Francisco, en Miami, y necesita ir a una farmacia. Usted sabe qué es lo que tiene que ir a pedir, pero acuérdese que ya todo va con prescription. Todo va recetado. Yeah. Usted no va a llegar diciendo, al menos que sean síntomas así como estos bien sencillos, sí puede llegar ahí. But the majority of the medicine, you need a prescription. Si va a la farmacia es porque generalmente ya va con receta. Do you have any questions? No question. Everything is fine. Okay. Yes. Okay, so let me share something else with you. Del enchance. <laughs> Wait. It's little picture. Okay, Imagine very good. Imagine is. Okay. Okay, do you see the image? Yes. 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 Okay. We have four questions. Estas cuatro preguntas son las que usted hace cuando usted ve a alguien y quiere preguntarle cómo está. What's the matter? What's the matter and what's wrong? Son las preguntas que usted hace cuando usted ha notado que la persona no está bien. What's the matter? What's wrong? 
Teacher, no remember wrong? what is wrong. No remember. What's wrong? ¿Qué pasa? Uh, wrong, ¿qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? Pero cuando usted ya detectó que hay algo que no está bien. Ok. Y so, is similar, is similar was what the mother, mother, mother. Yeah, there, there, there are synonyms. What's the mm -hmm. matter? What's wrong? Mm -hmm. Or what's the problem? Uh, okay. What's, what the matter? What's what's, wrong? what's the matter? What's wrong? What the, what's what the, the problem? What's the problem? Entonces, le vuelvo a repetir, como usted la va a decir... Cuando ya detectó, ya identificó que la persona no está bien de salud, obviamente la respuesta va a ser cuando le va a decir qué es lo que siente. I have a headache. I have, I a, have a backache. I, I have, have the flu. The flu. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, una, una pregunta. Y cuando solamente se puede utilizar para... Si quiero saber si está cuando sucede algo de salud o, o para cualquier caso. Good question, good question. Magnífica la pregunta. Si digamos usted ve que su amigo está con la capota del vehículo abierta, es porque algo le está fallando al, 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 al motor. Ese es solamente un uh -huh. ejemplo. Usted se baja y le pregunta, what's the matter? What's wrong? Y ahí le está preguntando porque usted identificó que hay algo que no está bien. Entonces, en la lección esta se las presentan como algo de salud, pero la verdad es que las puede preguntar en cualquier situación donde usted mire que algo no está bien. Ok. Yes, good question. Ok, any other questions, any other comments? Preguntas? Ahora bien. Yes. Y si... Si detecto que le pasa a alguien, eh, ahí sería como ocupar el, 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 el to be. Si le quiero preguntar es? a alguien, ¿qué le pasa a él? No, hace estas mismas dos. Estas mismas dos usted se las puede preguntar a quien sea. Ah, ok. Vaya, digamos, yo vengo aquí a la casa y encuentro a mi hijo llorando. Yo le pregunto a mi esposa, what's the matter? What's wrong? Y ella me va a explicar por qué está llorando el niño. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay, any other questions here? No. Ahora bien, las dos preguntas que tenemos aquí a la derecha son de manera general. Usted no sabe si la persona está bien, está mal, simplemente está, es un saludo. How are you? How do you feel? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Y cómo le pregunta la segunda? ¿Cómo se siente? Exactly. ¿Cómo se siente? Probablemente porque hace una hora quizás la persona tenía un dolor de cabeza. Hace una hora la persona quizás se sentía mareada. Entonces so usted le pregunta, how are you? How do you feel? Y ya le puede responder de acá. I feel homesick. I feel better. I, I don't, don't feel well. well. ¿Qué dijimos que significaba homesick? What's the meaning of homesick? Termo. Nostálgico. Deprimido. Nostálgico. Nostálgico. Nostalgic. Físicamente hablando, no va a sentir nada, sino que va a ser emocional. Homesick. Es lo mismo que deprimido, dicho. Eh, bueno, el deprimido puede ser un resultado de sentirse homesick. Ok. Pero de, deprimido puede ser porque salió mal en un examen, porque le negaron una beca. En cambio, en este caso, cuando usted dice homesick, todo está bien, simplemente usted extraña su casa. Ok. Homesick, yes. All right, any questions? Si yo le hago cualquiera de estas cuatro preguntas ahorita, ¿qué me respondería? Bueno, si digamos todo está bien ahorita. Everything is okay. Everything is okay. 
Okay, I feel good. I, I feel better. Okay, si digamos estuvo sintiéndose un poco mal temprano, usted puede decir, I feel better. Sure. I feel better. Okay. Any questions? Entonces, fíjese, si usted va a decir, I have, es porque va a mencionar el síntoma que usted tiene. Si usted va a responder con I feel, usted va a responder con un adjetivo. Aquí le ponen la estructura, el have más el síntoma o usted puede responder feel más el adjetivo. Yes. Y aquí nos dan las sugerencias de los adjetivos a usar. If they are negative, you say sick, awful, terrible, miserable. 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 Okay, what is the meaning of sick? Enfermo. Enfermo. Okay, can you give me a synonym? Can you give me a synonym? Bad. Okay, no. you could say bad. Pero si nos vamos exactamente al sinónimo de sick, vamos a poner ill. Yeah. I double L. Ill. Ill. Yes. Ill. Awful. What is the meaning of awful? Awful. What is awful? Awful. Awful. Awful, awful. awful means very bad. Very bad. Very bad. Very bad. Awful. Very bad. Terrible. 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 Es exactamente que en español. Permítanme un segundo. One second, please. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so terrible and the last one is miserable. miserable. So we have sick, awful, terrible, miserable. 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 La letra E es callada. So, usted de un solo hace una combinación de la S con la R, and you say miserable. 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 How many syllables do you hear? Miserable. One, two, three, Three four. is correct. Three is correct. Three. Miserable. Miserable. Uh, miserable. Miserable. Okay, how miserable. do you pronounce the first one? Six. 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 Number two? Awful. 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 Number three? Terrible. And the last one? Miserable. 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 Okay. All this is negative. Negative. All this is negative. Negative. The next group is the opposite. They are positive. 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 Fine, Positive. great, terrific, and fantastic. Ponga la atención a este de terrific. Muchas veces la gente piensa que terrific es malo porque empieza con terri y piensa que es familiar de terrible, pero es totalmente lo contrario. Terrific. Terrific. What Usted, is terrific? Now, an example. Usted va al cine y le pregunto, Hey, how was the movie? 
y usted me dice terrific, ¿qué me está diciendo? Grandioso, Estupenda. excelente. Ajá, excelente, grandioso, genial. Terrific es is the opposite of terrible. Okay. Estos dos son op opuestos. So we have fine, great, terrific, fantastic. How do you pronounce this one? Fine. Fine. Number two? Fine. Great. 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 Number three? Terrific. Terrific. And number four Terrific. is? Fantastic. 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 Yes. Okay, any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? Si yo le vuelvo a preguntar, how do you feel today? ¿Cuál de esos ocho ocuparía para responder? Great. Great. Terrific. Terrific. Fine. 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 Ok. Good. No, no hay espacio para los negativos. Muy bien, me llega. Ok, any questions here? No. No. Ok. No. So let's continue with the next um, image. <coughs> Do you see it? Can you see it? Yes. yes. Okay. Where is this picture? Where is this picture? Hospital. In a hospital. In a clinic. In a clinic. In a clinic. Oh, okay. How do you know it's in a hospital? Because How do you know it's in a doctor. hospital? Very good. Y pues las razones son obvias. Yo lo que quiero es explotar su vocabulario. Because she's a doctor. Can you tell me what the doctor is wearing? How do you know she's a doctor? She's wearing a white. Now, can you say that this is the uniform of a doctor? Yes. Yes. The doc yes. The doctor is uh, how? Ha, has, um, Ahí está um, en el chat, uh, en el chat de WhatsApp. Okay. The, doctor, the, the doctor is wearing... Is wearing, wearing, gown. wearing shoes, shoes, a one. gown. Ok, listen, listen to this. Fíjese lo que mm -hmm. le acabo de poner ahí en el chat de WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. The doctor is wearing a gown. A gown. 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 This is a gown. This is a gown, right? This is a gown. Okay. What is this? What is this? Dress. A dress. What is this? Yes. Gown yes. means bata. Yeah, bata, gabacha. White shoes. White. White. And what's the name of this? The yeah, stethoscope. 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 What is the function of the stethoscope? For the heart. Can hear the heart. Exactly. To hear your heart. In the lungs. Yeah, the lungs too. Respire fuerte, le dicen. Y cuando respira, ¿qué es lo que oyen? Gran concierto allá adentro. Dios guarde, le dice. ¿Cómo es que ha venido caminando? Anyway. Ok. What about the hair? Does she have straight hair? No, she has curly hair. Curly hair. Curly hair. Curly hair. Curly hair. Colochita. Okay. Yes, Colochita. Curly. Curly. Okay, and who is this woman? Who is she? The patient. The patient, patient. yes, the patient. the patient, yes. 
What is she wearing? What is she wearing? They wear blazer with us. Is she wearing Her pants? Is she wearing Her green? Black. Her black. Her black. Okay, is she wearing pants? No. No, no she's not. No. She's wearing a black skirt. Aha, uh -huh. she's wearing a black skirt. 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 Ahí le vamos a poner falda en inglés en el chat. Skirt. Skirt black. No, black skirt. Black skirt. Black skirt. Black skirt. Exactly. Black skirt. Okay. What is this? The bag. The her bag. Sure. The real name is briefcase. 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 Probablemente usted anda uno de estos durante el día. Briefcase. 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 Yes. What do you have inside the briefcase? Document. Documents. Very good. Document. Documents. Document and money. Yeah, money. What happens? What happens if you are a doctor? What do you have inside the briefcase? Um, instruments. Instruments. Okay. Uh, how do you say herramientas in English? Tools. Tools. Yes, tools. Medicine. Medicine. Exactly. Yes. Okay, any questions about the picture? No question. No. Okay, very good. Se los voy a leer la primera vez. Si hay alguna palabra que no sabe o quiere reforzar con pronunciación, me lo dice. Ahorita solo escuchamos. Dice, Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Not so good. So, what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay. Let's take a look at you. A few minutes later. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner, okay? And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. Young. Any questions there about pronunciation or meaning? Right after dinner. Okay, pronunciation about it. Ex exhausted? Exhausted. 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 If you work a lot at 10 p.m., you will feel exhausted. Exhausted. Any other questions? Questions, questions? No question. No. Oh. Okay. Good. So now I need two volunteers. I need the doctor and I need the patient. Me. Okay, Maria, you're the doctor. Who's the patient? Patient. Patient, patient. Patient. Solo uno, solo uno. Okay, yes, Cecilia. Okay. Yes, thanks, Cecilia. Okay, hey. so Maria, you're the doctor, and Cecilia is the patient. One, two, three, go. Okay. Hello, Mr. West. How are you today? No, it's so good. So, what's wrong exactly? I am so. Mm, why are you so, so tired? I don't know. I just came to sleep at night. <laughs> okay, let's take a look look at you. Look at you. A few minutes later, um, I am going to give you some pills. Take a pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink, drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else. Yes, don't work too hard. 
All right, thanks, Dr. John. <risa> Cecilia sí le puso el, 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 el tono de una paciente cansada. <risa> Pero no sé si de verdad está descansada o solo es el papel que leyó ahorita. Yes. Okay. Any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? No. 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 Okay. Vamos a asegurarnos de que todos tengan la oportunidad de leerlo. Eh, Le voy a enviar la foto ahorita de este de la conversación para cuando los ponga en si alguien le puede tomar screenshot puede hacerlo para que le quede ahí en su máquina y si no pues aquí se los mando al al chat ok ahí les va ahí va medio camino ahorita ahorita ahí por el poliedro <risa> Por los chorros. Ya, su, ya pasó los chorros. Ya está cerrado. Ya vale. está cerrado. Vale. Ya le llegó, ¿verdad? Ya ven que viaja a la velocidad de la luz. Sacate San Miguel everywhere. Ok, so, let's do this. Voy a hacer los, uh, las parejas ahorita. Y se toman, you take turns reading. Okay. Vamos a hacer las parejas. Break rooms. Nine. Y de ese duro ahí practicando. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Right. Hola. ¿Qué onda? Doctor John. Toma. Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Not so good. <laughs> so, what's wrong exactly? I'm excited. I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. A few minutes later. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, doctor. A few minutes later, I am going to give you some pills. Take a... Uh, Take one pill every night after dinner. Dinner. Okay. I don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. Young. Excellent. Thanks. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. Young. Okay. okay. Let's change again. Hi, teacher. Hello, did you finish the two parts? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's return to the main session. I, I have one question. Yes, uh, Pamela. Uh, en, en el primer diálogo dice, hello, Mrs. Mrs. es lo correcto? No, let me check. Um, let me check the picture. No, eh, se pronuncia Miss. Okay. Miss. No es Miss de señorita, sino que es Miss cuando usted no sabe si la en este caso la doctora es casada o no. Entonces, como ah, no lo sabe y no sí. le va a preguntar, no le puede decir Miss, Miss. señorita, no le puede decir Mrs. Para casada, sino como usted no sabe, usted le dice mes. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you. All right, good. Uh, yes, ya estamos en la principal. La principal estamos. Sí. Okay. Mm. 
No listen to tell. Okay, did you finish practicing? No. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. okay, did you finish practicing? Yes, I yes. did. Okay. We finished. Okay, very good. Alguien me preguntaba algo bien importante. ¿Cómo se pronuncia las dos letritas antes de referirse a la, a la doctora? Antes de decir el apellido, dicen Miss. Miss. Acuérdense, si es señorita, usted sabe que no está casada, usted dice Miss. Miss. Así como dice Miss Universe, Miss Mexico, Miss El Salvador, señorita. Si usted sabe que está casada, va a poner M-R-S, Misses. 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 Pero en este caso, o en cualquier otro caso de la vida real, si usted no sabe si la persona está casada o es soltera y no quiere ser imprudente en preguntar eso, usted se lo va a pronunciar tal como está ahí en la conversación y usted va a decir, Miss. Miss. Y eso indica que usted no sabe ni le interesa si ella es casada o no, simplemente le está dando, eh, se le está dirigiendo con respeto. Ok. Miss. Y para hombre, pues siempre es Mister. Ya sea casado Mister. o soltero, you say Mister. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we're going to finish right now. We continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Okay. 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 Have a good night. 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 Good night.